Hello, welcome to Reformation and Revival Now, and what I call Nuggets in Five. Today we're going to take a look at a passage from the Sermon on the Mount. Chapter 6, verse 22 and 23. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is single, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is evil, your whole body will be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? Uh, we don't see with our eyes. We really see with our inside, our heart, and our soul. But our eyes are lenses that can take in information. So when you look at it that way, it's really talking about the depths right inside here. And here's the amazing thing. If you have purity, holiness on the inside, yes, guess what? Well, what are the things that your body is going to be taking in? It's going to be taking in things of love, things of goodness, things of truth, things of Jesus, things of the light. Okay, because in your heart, you have a hunger for that which is good. So if your eye is single, and I love that King James uh, expression. Think of the word single as the same word that we use for how we calculate the uh, purity of gold, depending on the amount of carats. And the more the gold is one element, we say it's pure gold or pure gold, particularly when you're comparing it to something that has a mixture of something else in it besides gold. This is the same way we need to look at this. If your eye be single, if there's just one thing, one heart after God, if your eye is single, then that relationship in your heart that is single, only looking at Jesus, will let in that light. But if your eye be evil, or the translations say bad or corrupt, then your whole body will be filled with darkness. So here again on the inside, if you're attracted to the darkness, then what you're going to let in your lenses is darkness. Now, I want to say this to all Christians. Listen to this sentence in verse 23. If therefore the light that is in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? Now, we could just break out revival right there. Because what we see today is darkness amongst God's people, darkness within God's people with really no idea how great it is. Well, I can tell you how great it is. There is no love for the word. There is no love to study it. There's no love to do it. There's no love for the Great Commission. There's love for the world. There's love for everything that has to do with this temporary life, but nothing for the kingdom of God. So guess what? That speaks of the condition of our heart. And if our heart is in that condition, then the things that are coming through our eye will be darkness. However, if you have a hunger for God's word, a hunger for the love of God, a hunger for the presence of God, a love for the brethren, a love for Jesus, then your eye is going to let in the things of God. It's going to let in the truth of God's word. It's going to let in the Holy Spirit of God to direct you. So it's very important. One scripture says, keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it flows the issues of life. We have a responsibility to make sure that our hearts are clean before God. I hope the scripture has an impact on you because it's saying that you're responsible for the condition of your heart. You need to take heed to the darkness that is in you and make sure that darkness is not growing and running amok. Because if it is, all you're going to start letting in is darkness. What you want to start letting in is light. And the goal is that nothing comes into your eye or your lens, but the light, but the truth of the gospel. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I sure hope this has been a blessing to you. And I will see you again in another Nuggets in 5. Bye-bye.